What is going on everyone? It is time to do something a little bit different. I get asked all the time, what are the best states? What are the worst states? What are my favorite states? I'm asked these on a daily basis from Twitter, Instagram, emails, and in the comment section of my videos. So I thought we would tackle the subject and just rank them all. The first hurdle is how do you properly rank all 50 states? If you're doing it just by one stat or maybe a couple stats, it's easy. You just figure out which state leads the country in those stats and boom, there's your list. But this one isn't that easy. It's really an opinion. In this case, it's my opinion. How do I form these opinions? Well, it would be stats, experience, reputation, and weird facts. Weird facts tell you a lot about a location. As an example, when you have a location that's had, let's say, the highest teen pregnancy rate for 10 years running, that's a depressing weird fact, first of all, but it also makes you think, what are the other issues that this location may be facing to achieve the number one status? Teen pregnancy is higher in lower income areas, in areas with poor education, with limited access to healthcare, and with all around a low quality of life. So weird facts play a big part on how a place would rank. This will be the first of three videos going from worst to first at a faster pace than I normally do. And I'm sure I'm gonna ruffle some feathers on this one. And that's life. These are my opinions based on my experience. So if you don't like my opinions and you think I'm wrong, put it in the comment section and then go out and try and make your community better. So that being said, why don't you grab something to drink and watch my video, the ranking of all 50 states for 2019, part one. Number 50, Mississippi. Hot, humid, wrecked with poverty, and if you didn't see this one being one of the worst states, congratulations on waking up from your 50-year coma. Mississippi has been one of the worst states since it was admitted into the Union in 1817. That's right, everyone. Over 200 years of suck. The state capital of Jackson is one of the worst cities in the country, and when it comes to leading the country in anything, Mississippi leads the country in conservatives. Per capita. I'm not kidding. Look that one up. Number 49, Arkansas. The state of Arkansas has 3 million people, and I'm sure 2.5 million wish they were someplace else right now. In 1891, the state legislators passed a law requiring a literacy test you had to pass to vote, knowing this would exclude many of the blacks and poorer whites. You know, the people that, more than anything, needed some changes? At the time, more than 25% of the population of the entire state of Arkansas could neither read nor write. And that was about 75% of the people living below the poverty line. Arkansas leads the country in hate groups per capita, according to a stately.com. Number 48, New Mexico. Urban legend has it that New Mexico became a state after the President of the United States lost a bet to the President of Mexico, and we had to take it over as a result of losing the bet. Now that is untrue. It's more like they forgot they owned it and we moved in and made it a state in 1912. New Mexico leads the country in people with mental illness per capita. It also is very high up there on poverty. Number 47, Alabama. Before Mississippi's statehood on December 10th, 1817, it was known as the Mississippi Territory. It was split in half and the less populated eastern half of the territory was named the Alabama Territory. In 1819, it became the state of Alabama. Once you realize it was part of Mississippi, it all makes sense. Alabama has great college football programs and leads the country in racist tweets. That's according to a stately.com. Not kidding, look it up. Number 46, Louisiana. Louisiana is great if you're a tourist. If you live there, you probably spend a lot of time wondering what you did in a past life to end up living in Louisiana. Once you get past New Orleans and the good people that live in this state, which they have a lot of them, you start to realize that they do have cities like Baton Rouge, which is always one of the most dangerous cities in the country. New Orleans is kind of bad too, but they do have nice things going on there too, but Baton Rouge is just all a mess. Louisiana leads the country in people in prison that's per capita always. Number 45, Alaska. Alaska is big and it doesn't have a lot of people. Isolation is a major part of most residents' lives in Alaska. The number one cause of death in Alaska after heart disease is accident. No specific type of accident, just a whole bunch of accidents. Alaska leads the country in more veterans per capita. That's kind of cool. Number 44, West Virginia. Okay, maybe you're shocked and maybe you think they should have been number 50 and they might have been five years ago. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I forgot about Mississippi. So maybe 49th five years ago. The fact is, West Virginia is getting better. Now, don't get me wrong, they got a long way to go to become, you know, in the top 10 of best states, but they're working at it. They also lead the country in deer vehicle collision. So that's something. 
Number 43, New Jersey. New Jersey is the type of state that has people willing to fight you in a parking lot over talking trash about New Jersey. Like most people, I've always wondered where this sense of pride comes from. It's New Jersey. They have camped in New Jersey in their state. It's like one of the worst cities in the country. It's right across the river from Philadelphia, and I'm sure more than one person in Philadelphia has entertained the thought of blowing the bridge between them. New Jersey has the most undivorced couples in the country. That is separated people that just think it's a pain to go to court and get an actual divorce. Probably because they don't want to go to court because they have warrants and stuff. Number 42, Oklahoma. The average household in Oklahoma has more guns than IQ points. They also are the only state that every single county voted Republican in 2016. They also lead the country in residence on public assistance, and Oklahoma also leads the country on executions per capita. Go Oklahoma! Number 41, Delaware. Delaware has one major city, and that is Wilmington. This city has been in bad shape for forever. If you read the local news, it's about as scary as reading a Stephen King book with guns and drugs. They have one major city. You'd think they could put some effort into cleaning it up. Got one to focus on. They got smaller cities. They got one major city. Come on, Delaware. Number 40, Florida. Hurricanes, insects, swamps, heat, tweakers, that's mostly what I experienced every time I've gone to Florida. People used to flood to Florida, and those days are over. These days, they're about even with people leaving and entering. They do lead the country in shark attacks, so that's something, and stop typing. They also have the most swimmers and coastline, I get it, so the odds are of them having the most shark attacks. We don't need that explanation again. Every time I bring up Florida, someone has to tell us that. Number 39, Maryland. Besides having that god-awful flag and, and being shaped like it was made from land that the surrounding states didn't want, they also have Baltimore. Every time I've been to Maryland and subsequently gone to Baltimore, I've seen someone yelling at someone else in the street. Like, four times. Not the same dude, either. It was like different people just screaming at each other in the middle of the street. I don't know if this is like a trend there or a ritual or some kind of tradition. Four times I've been there, four times I've seen that. Maryland leads the country in millionaire Democrats living in the state. Number 38, Kentucky. Kentucky is all about basketball and horse racing, or at least that's what everyone I've ever met from the state talks about and talks about and talks about it some more. While visiting the Bluegrass State, I made the mistake of going outside a major city. I was surprised how fast it got backwoods. It got backwoods really quick. I mean, three, four broken down cars on a lawn, that type stuff. Number 37, Missouri. There are reasons people refer to this state as misery, and two of them are St. Louis and Kansas City. The third would be weather. Weather.com tracked the number of violent tornadoes that each state had since 1950, and Missouri came in number six, with 41 violent tornadoes in the past 70 years. It's a lot of tornadoes. This state, it's just weird. I've never enjoyed myself here. Not even once. Number 36, Nevada. Besides Vegas, maybe Reno, there isn't much else to this state. Easily the worst state to ever drive through. And stop typing. Henderson, Nevada is part of the Las Vegas metro area. So don't tell me how good it is and it's just as big a city as Reno. It probably is, but it's part of Vegas, whether you like it or not. The only other thing this state has to offer is like the Hoover Dam and maybe Area 51. And actually conversations with those people that believe something really is going on Area 51. Those are entertainment in a crazy kind of way. Number 35, Ohio. Every time I've been to Ohio, my sinuses freak out, and everyone drops the F-bomb in every other sentence of every conversation, it seems. Estately.com ranks Ohio as having the foulest speaking citizens in the entire country. Now, here's another thing. About sinuses, seven of the top 25 cities for the worst allergies and asthma were in Ohio, more than any other state. Number 34, South Carolina. So there's Charleston, which is filled with great history, people, and food. Myrtle Beach and Columbia are great too. It's just too bad the rest of the state is attached. South Carolina is hot, humid, and gets hurricanes. South Carolina drivers have been ranked the worst in the country for the last 10 years. 33. Iowa. Iowa is flat, boring, but it has good people. I read an article about how virtual reality in the future will enable you to climb Mount Rushmore, surf Hawaii, sail the Great Lakes, hang glide around the Hollywood sign, and swing from the Golden Gate Bridge. They will never make virtual reality about Iowa. I promise you that. Unless, of course, walking around a cornfield becomes an extreme sport someday. Iowa also leads the country in reports of lost chickens. I'm not even kidding. 
Number 32, Tennessee. The Volunteer State is a great place to visit, but it might be a little too much to live there. You have maybe three decent cities and then it's hillbilly heaven. They do lead the country in mega churches though. And number 31, Indiana. You know, I'm really trying to think of something positive to say about Indiana, but I'm, I'm not coming up with anything. They do lead the country in apathetic voters though. That's something. And they're a state. All right, so that's number 50 to number 31. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget all the links below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next installment of this series. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.